Here's my old sensor station. Over the course of a couple years, they tend to die. Generally, it seems to be the Ethernet controller. Uh, and so we'll take it apart and see what we can do about some upgrades today. Here's the insides. We go from a PoE splitter that gives five volt and ethernet into a five volt um, bus so we can plug everything in. We have our ethernet controller over here and then an Arduino Nano in the middle. And on the outside where the heat from the components won't impact the readings is our sensor which does temperature and humidity. I've selected my replacement components to try and get the most life out of this. So first we have a genuine Arduino Every, uh, same pinout as the generic Nano, but has more memory and being a uh, genuine Arduino, hopefully lasts a little longer. And then a Robotdyne Wiz Ethernet Shield. Um, this was the highest quality shield I could find. Arduino doesn't seem to make them, so this is what we're going to use, and hopefully it lasts a bit longer. Since the pinout's exactly the same between our generic Nano and our Arduino Every, um, we can just line these up and move over the power pins as well as the sensor pins. That way all our code, um, well, it should still work. We're going to put a bit of tape on these pins so the connectors don't slip off. Make sure we're still going to fit. Perfect. Before we close it up, we do need to put our sketch on it. So let's take this to the computer uh, and then compile our sketch and put it on the Arduino. We have the station all plugged into the computer as well as a PoE switch. We're first going to go to the board manager and if we scroll down we can see Arduino Nano Every under the Arduino Mega AVR boards. So we have the correct uh, board manager installed. Next we'll go to libraries We'll scroll down to Ethernet. And here we have Ethernet 2, which supports the W5500 chipset installed. So we have uh, both our board and necessary library uh, installed to start. Here I have a Hello World test sketch for the hardware we're using. Uh, I'll go through the sketch and I'll also upload it uh, so you can find it in the description of the video and download it if that helps you. So first we have the includes for the Ethernet chipset. Uh, then we have the Ethernet parameters. Next is the favorite icon. We're going to make use of the extra memory that the Arduino Every has. Um, can't always do that. Sometimes we're tight on space. Now we'll have a uptime function. Uh, that's so the stat the content on the uh, web pages isn't always static. So we know that it's actually responding and it's not just a cached version. Um, next, startup. So basically we are initializing the Ethernet chip. In the main body, we now listen for a web page request. And so we have set up here. Uh, a couple different pages. So if it sees in this request string slash text, it sends a text version of hello world plus the server uptime. Um, similarly, if it sees HTML or slash HTML, it sends an HTML version of hello world plus the server time. 
next, if it sees fav icon anywhere in the string, it will serve the favorite icon. Um, and anything else will get a text version of a 404 error. Now let's uh, compile this and send it onto the Arduino Every, and then we can test it. We do have a warning, but as long as the sketch compiled and uploaded successfully, you don't have to worry about it. The Arduino Everys are known to uh, produce this warning, and as long as it's not accompanying any other errors, it isn't an issue. I've inputted the text URL, and we have received back a hello world with server uptime. Uh, you can also note up here the little green house, which is our favorite icon. Now we'll try our next one, which is HTML. And there we go, an HTML version of the same thing. Now we'll do a third try of just some, with no URL string, just the IP. And we should get a 404, and there we go. So everything is working correctly. I have a second sketch here, which includes my uh, temperature and humidity sensor code, and I've also removed the hello world code. Uh, so this is specific to my setup. I won't go into details. Uh, you would have to do this for whatever project or sensors you are using. Um, so I'll upload this and then we can test. You saw down in the corner, done uploading, which means we don't have to worry about this warning. We input the new URL. Uh, the new one requires a slash sensor to get the sensor data. The sensor's web page has loaded correctly with a temperature of 22.2 degrees Celsius, as well as a relative humidity of 33.6%. With it running correctly, we can close up the housing and then reinstall it on the wall. Here's the old hardware. Uh, it has been running 24 seven for a couple years. Uh, generally when these go, it seems to be after a couple years and tends to be the ENC 28J60 ethernet chip controller. Um, if you're worried about long reliable uptime, you might want to look at a controller with a uh, Wiz chipset. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.